Sure. Excited. Okay, let's talk about this. Yes. When you were here in July of 2022, yes. we talked about how Florida Governor uh, DeSantis uh, had just filed a complaint against a bar called the R House yeah. that holds drag shows. Okay. Yeah. Uh, eight months later, things have only escalated. As we talk about it, you know, it's constant um, aggravation with this. What do you make of the fact that we're still talking about this and that um, it's happening in other states too, not just Florida? Right? Yeah, it's. There's this war yeah. against trans people, which and is... And LGBTQ plus yeah, people yeah, and yeah. people who are othered. And cabaret people. And cabaret and people. Ladies. It's a, it's like, it's a circle it's of life. Yeah. You know, it, we've why all, are they doing it? At, the, for power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything is about power, and you could always trace it back to the money. You say that all the time. Yeah. Follow you know, the money. It's, it's follow the money, follow the power, power at any cost. It's very hypocritical. You know, the, the, <laughs> the leading cause of death in children are guns. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're guns. No, it's not. Well, it depends upon how you look at the statistics there, BP. And the cackling hens at the rear view see what they do with these statistics is they wanted to make it look like that guns was a leading cause of death with children. So what they did is they eliminated infants from the study and they added up to 19 years old. So basically it goes from like the age of one or two up until the age of 19. You take those two sets of data out, you eliminate 19 year olds, you and you add back in babies, well, guess what, folks? Guns falls out of the picture then. But it's a, see, again, it's how you do statistics. And all you have to do is look online and you can find that data. It was done, it was properly done. I've done it in another video before. You can check it out. And just wanted to basically say that. So when these guys say it was guns, it wasn't guns. It's people. Guns. Yeah. I know it's the morning and I'm not supposed to be screaming, but they're guns. Yeah. Not you know, drag queens. Not drag queens. No. Leave no. us alone. <laughs> yes. You know, and it just, it's a distraction. It's a distraction on purpose. We don't know what to pay. We don't know what to pay attention to. You know, our justice system is convoluted. It's hard to understand on purpose. Let's be clear about that. Yeah. It's on purpose. You know, it was like when we were talking when we were talking about Roe Ro v. Wade that the word codified came up. I was like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe you should be a little bit educated. Maybe I should mansplain to you then. You know, codified. Why don't you look it up in a dictionary? You know, Merriam-Webster's, right? I think that's what you ought to do. I didn't know what codified man. Wow. That's why our justice system is so bad, because they got words in there that I don't understand. <laughs> and y'all didn't do it for 50 years? Yeah. What's happening? Yeah. You know, su subpoenas. If any one of us is subpoenaed, we, and we don't go, we end up in jail, you right? Get a little perp walk. You get what a little perp are walk. we talking about, and what are we doing? And everybody's so scared because, oh, if we do that, then we might have a civil war. We're already in a civil war, y'all. It's a civil war of the mind. They're messing with our minds. We're already in it. I have to agree. The civil war is the minds, and that civil war of the minds is for the minds of our children, our babies, our youngsters minors. That's where the civil war is being fought, folks. It's a cultural civil war. It's a religious civil war. It is a sexual civil war. It is, um, it, it, it's a civil war, basically, of the left and their ideas of wokeness versus, I guess, those of us on the right that are conservative that are basically saying, we want some sense of normal you know, normalcy. We want some sort sense of, you know, morality. And everybody can define that a little bit different. But we also want basically in the civil war that, you know, Billy is talking about along with the cackling hens is, is that it is a war for the minds of our children, as I said before, in education, at schools. And what's happening is the Democrats want the state, want the schools, the teachers, the administrators, the principals, the school boards,
to basically be the parents and have the rights of parents to indoctrinate, not to educate, but they want to indoctrinate now our children. That's what they want to do, folks. That's what they're looking to do, to indoctrinate our children and basically say that for those six, seven, or eight hours a day, Monday through Friday, your children are ours. And not only that, they want to extend that beyond the school hours to say, those children are not really yours. Because if they want to do something and you don't agree with your child, then guess what? They can go to an outsider and they can go and now go against the parents' wishes. Because parents, you know what? You're not agreeing, you're not agreeing with your children anymore. You're having a disagreement with them. And your children have a right to do what they want to do. And you have no right to tell your children how to behave, how to act, what to eat, what to wear, how to, you know, what to do this and do that. You don't have that right. That's basically what they're saying. They're, they're, they don't come out exactly and say that, but in essence, that's what they want. What do you think when they make these laws that parents don't have to be notified if a underage, um, uh, under the age of 18, a girl wants to get an abortion, parents don't have to be notified. There are laws in states like that. What about this whole thing with the transgender, gender-affirming care, gender surgery, gender reassignment surgery, anything happen to do with transgenderism? They don't care. They basically say, you know what, parents don't have to be notified. And this whole thing about, you know, they were, there was this uh, a club in uh, Florida with Ron DeSantis, the R Club or whatever that was. All they were saying is they didn't want children to be, to be going to those clubs. Now, my thing is, is that, look, if there's a community and they're okay with burlesque and they're okay with, you know, a transgender or a queer, like, you know, a club or any of that thing within the confines of their community. Hey, that's perfectly fine. If there's a community that says, look, we don't want this type of in, in, entertainment in the, in the confines of our city or, lim, you know, municipality limits or township or whatever it is, and they vote that, that, you know, we don't want to have a burlesque theater or an LGBT gender queer theater or whatever it is in our city. Hey, if they vote for that, that's fine as well. We don't want it coming from the government cram down at the top saying this, okay, from Washington, DC, let local governments, let them decide what's best for the people that live in that community. It's the same thing. If there's a community that wants to stay dry, let's say, you know, they don't want to have a place where you can buy, you know, you, that you can buy alcohol. And, and sell alcohol. There are towns and municipalities around the states that want to remain dry. Fine with that. Businesses decide to go someplace else. If you're not wanted as a business, okay, fine. The city, the township, you know, the municipality, the, uh, the locality, they make those rules and regulations and those laws, and you live by them. The only, pro the only situation is I have no problem with adults wanting to go to see any kind of a drag queen show or anything like that. But the situation is that when you're doing it in the schools, that's what we're talking about. That's not a civil war. That's just basically being, you're talking about, is that civic? Is that the civic duty of a school to bring in transgenders and drag queens and let them perform in front of innocent young children? That's not the that, that's not the uh, prerogative of a school district, the prerogative of an, 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 the administration or the principals or the teachers, the libraries. Hey, they're doing it. It's a public library, but if they allow that to occur, then they should also allow the reading of other books, religious, cultural, ethnic, whatever. But they're not. They're only allowing the drag queen thing. But somebody wants to come and read a religious book, they're not allowing that or a cultural book, and they're saying no to that, or some conservative wants to come and read a book, they're saying no. That's what's happening. That's what these guys, these ladies of the rear view are cackling about. So yes, there is a civil war that's occurring, and it's a civil war for the minds and the souls and the bodies of our children. And we have to basically say, enough is enough. Adults, perfectly fine, but stay away from our children. We don't need you to hypersexualize our young children at this early age. Anyways, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your host. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you haven't done so, subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell. Like, share, and follow us. Let us know what you think in the comments below. 
And I'll leave you with my final thought, which is when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. We'll see you again next time, folks. Take care and stay safe.